Nine hospitals are still struggling to get personal protective equipment, but now a group at ASU is hoping to fix that problem by letting people make it at home. Team 12's William Pitts has the story. A group of ASU students saw that hospitals couldn't get enough PPE. Companies couldn't provide them fast enough. The solution, let people make them at home, crowdsourcing PPE. So it's the, the face shield headband, basically. And so we're sourcing the clear material that you can see here that's being laser cut on laser cutters here on campus. Those 3D printers behind Tyler Smith would just be sitting there otherwise. No classes, no students, nothing to do. Instead, they're cranking out personal protective equipment. A handful of volunteers here assembling face shields, um, and then those face shields were boxed up and sent out. Medical staff across the country are scrambling to find PPE, face shields, masks, gowns, anything. And when classes shut down, the students at ASU's Luminosity Lab came up with an idea. They could use the school's fabrication equipment to make PPE. And all of our students were just filled with passion. They were ready to go. They wanted to help. And so right off the bat, they, they, they started the rapid production of PPE. And if they could make PPE, what about the guy with a 3D printer in his garage? The sewing fanatic with an idle sewing machine. That idea turned into the PPE Response Network. Here's how it works. Hospitals put out the call for whatever they need. Producers, that's everyone from big manufacturing companies to Bob in his basement, sign up and pledge to make what they can. It's sterilized and taken to medical workers. The plans are posted on the site for reusable and disposable face shields, nasal swabs for testing, and medical gowns. Individuals in their homes doing it, and they're calling up hospitals trying to build that relationship. They're driving over PPE. ASU says hospital groups like Banner and Honor Health have already started placing orders. And that's exactly what a healthcare system like Banner Health needs right now. We need speed and we need a lot of great ideas. And the more people that sign up, the more they can produce. It's really shown that there's just limited potential uh, in humans. It just doesn't matter what age. Uh, and I hope that we continue to see this creativity. William Pitts, 12 News. All right. Well, thank you.